here. I've been sleeping over this for hours. Happy Thanksgiving, pimps! Do you suck at racing games? Do you wish that you could hit the better races with something more than a little love tap? Well, then, fellers, do I have an opportunity that will change your life. Deja vu. For flying shitty airlines, we know you have a choice in airlines, and it looks like you made the wrong one. Yep, run's dead, we're gonna need to restart. Split Second is a racing game where even the worst racists can compensate for their lack of skill by dropping a goddamn nuclear reactor on everybody else in the race. Whereas most modern day racing games go for realism, Split Second takes the Gaben approach. He said, quote, If I wanted the hydroplane in a Honda Accord like a dumbass, I'd shut off the console and go outside. What are you, autistic? Look up the quote if you don't believe me. You think I'd lie to you? Check out this power play. God damn it! Runs dead, runs dead. But I agree with Santa because after all, why the hell are we all here if not to get away from reality? And when you turn on Split Second, you're going to a new reality. One that's got that piss filter, that blue and orange Transformers color grading, a cameraman with cerebral palsy, and you can tell it's from the good old days because the pay to win DLC caps out at $5. What? <laughs> Mirage had $5 pay to win DLC? <laughs> damn. Guess the flat of the rat was ahead of the curve on that one. Check out this power play. Run's dead. Run's dead. God damn, Run's really dead. Jesus. A reality focused entirely on drifting so that you could commit acts of domestic tourism. Before Disney hit a power play on their reputation and finances, and before BlackRock took over the world, this was their swan song, their last dance, their, their final fantasy. It's like a war. But there's a race going on. It's almost like a race. Check out this power play. I finally did one without crash. I don't know what to do with my hands. This one's for you, big pimp. Highway hypnosis is when drivers zone out because of the monotony of driving on a highway with no unique events or scenery to keep them engaged. This is why I get bored of most racing games. By the third hour, I'm always crushing first place with an eight second lead on the guy behind me. I've played a lot of Forza, don't come in expecting this, alright? This is fantasy right here. They might as well have a little My Little Pony trot across the trailer at this point because this, not happening. Mm -mm. Whereas Split Second is like a windy mountain road, you're always one moment away from your wife cashing in that power life insurance check. And you don't have to worry about ever having a car that's just way superior to everybody else because they're all equally shit. But now let's talk about the feature that makes Split Second the GOAT of the racing genre. And it starts with my Split Second motto. Are you ready? If I suck ass, you're going to pay for it. Whereas most modern day racing games have devolved into the landlord's special repainting the same walls over and over again while leaving the interior smeared with the same shit and mold that's been there since the 2010s, Split Second took the chance of ripping Burnout's entire flow, then injecting it with the M-Bay virus. Because Split Second not only adds a copious amount of explosions, but it is also the very first Michael Bay simulator. As in, you get to play as the man himself controlling when, where, and how many explosions explode. We call these power plays or party poppers because <laughs> I like to party. You follow on all this? I'll use it in a sentence so that you understand. Chernobyl was a power play. Bush was a power player. Jennifer power played half your assets in the divorce. Power play. Verb. Now it's not a full Michael Bay simulator because you can't control putting Megan Fox in the game, but that's because no one is in this game. Disney probably wanted to avoid labels such as snuff film simulator. So don't come showing up to this game expecting to build a killdozer in the Mickey Mouse clubhouse. It's just not gonna work like that. But I'm getting off track. Power plays come in two varieties. The single blue bar that lets you say, Fuck that man in particular. And the three bar red that lets you say, Fuck this entire part of the map in particular. And anyone in it. Consequently, reforming the map, usually to something better. Don't think that this is just a game of spam, though. It's an art form of time. Pop too early and they won't even feel it. Pop too late and- Who's retarded now? Yeah! Congratulations, 
you plague yourself. Pop just at the right time, and even a simple blue power play can clear five cars, let alone what you can do with the red attack. I tell you what the special formula is, but at this point, that's a family secret. I'm passing that knowledge down from generation to generation. But just keep in mind, what goes around comes around. Except it's bullshit when they do it. <laughs> you window licking motherfucker! God damn, this game is trash. Oh look, now I'm getting flung over the map wall through the map. Is that was that red or blue? <laughs> now everyone, please clap and laugh. All right, it took me two hours to find that clip. <laughs> oh, you guys are too much. Uh, too, don't stop. Don't stop clapping. Two hours. You may think that the reactor power play is the largest threat, but I assure you that the small overhang of a railing nicking the corner of your car is far more lethal. The one true trick to survival is using the enemy's power plays against them. Aikido. Like, take this game, for example. They're gonna open it. <laughs> it's all right. I know what I'm doing. The next... I'm Flickazoid. If you don't play Split Second, then fuck you. Thanks to the flock of pimps for bankrolling this video, and another huge thanks to all the pimperers. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. And if it isn't Thanksgiving in your country, happy Thanksgiving anyways, you heathen. Goodbye.